Hey guys, how you going, Aussie Stuntman or Minecraft Renders? Depends on what Twitter you follow me on, to put the name, but basically doing some tutorials here in Cinema 4D just to help you guys out for all the learners out there. I'm still learning. No one is a pro at this stuff unless you've been doing it for a long time. Everybody's asked us stupid questions or they've Googled it, and if you don't want to ask a stupid question, you can DM me on, DM me on Twitter or message me, private message me on YouTube here, and then I can make a video about it and help you out. Out in this video, I'm um, showing you how to install the lib4d files that you would have got with your rigs because not all of them are saved in the cinema4d.cinema4d file. That's kind of the save file, but you actually need the lib file to install your people and like rigs over to a little thing here so you can do some stuff with them. Awesome stuff. See content browser here. I do have one here now, but that's well, that's not normally in there. I'll basically show you how to get something now. I've just put that there before item pack. See, there's normally blank and default, there's nothing there. So what you want to do is, you go. see, you normally go file, open, and you'll have to open your thing, so you open your person, and then go, oh yeah, sorry, not person, <laughs> sorry. See, file, oh, crap, file opens. Here we go, going this way, whoop, too far, sorry. Go there, and see, now we've got our little um, we line paid rig here. And that always does that, I'm not sure why, but there we go. And now I've got him there, but the thing is, basically, what you want to do is have him in here. So that when you come in here, because the key thing is you can leave Cinema 4D, and then you leave, like, right out of the program, come back in, and this stuff's gone. This stuff's not here anymore. I'll show you. See, we go, we go, file, close all, no, we'll exit, we'll start Cinema 4D up again. Do, 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 do. Cinema 4D, opening up. See, you go, file. Oh, no, sorry, go over here, kind of proud, sorry. And see, it's not there, and you're like, man, it was there before, why isn't it there now? I want it to be always there, so I come in, bam, bam, there, do my renders. Okay, what you want to do is close Cinema 4D, we have our little Steve over here, so we'll open him up. See here, come in here, you do have your um, content browser stuff here, so what you want to do is, you want to get this file, and it whack it where, oops, I want to whack it where it will stay. So what you want to do is come into the computer, C drive, come down here, program files. And you want to come down, you will see Cinema 4D. I'm using the 12 version here. Come here, you want to go to Library, Browser, and see, bring it over here. I just want to copy and paste because I want to leave it in that folder. So, you know, right click, copy, come over here, and paste. Continue. Yep, there he is over there. So, what we'll do now, close these two off. We'll open Cinema 4D up again. And hopefully, when we go straight to Content Browser, our um, Steve uh, Weedline paid Steve Rig should be there. So let's hopefully let's have a look. Click him on there. Presets. And there you go. Steve Rig straight away. Let's see Steve Rig. Steve Custom. We'll put Steve over there. There, well, there you go, guys. Look, there you go. And that is how you install your lib40 files into the um, bra content browser. So it is there all the time. Looks like he's. What happened to his legs? He has no legs. We'll, we'll, to be sure, we'll show you, we'll close all, we'll go, no, don't save it, we'll leave again, come back just to show you that's how it is done, and it is there, not just something there, just because I installed it that one time, if Cinema 4D wants to open, here we go, Cinema 4D, opens up, comes straight to file, instead of going file, open, so I'm straight to the content browser, click on it, and there we go, he's still there, Steve. Fuck him over there. There you go, guys. How to add your lib4d files to um, Cinema4D browser. Content browser, sorry. And so it's always there, so you're not always searching for it. And once you get there, you can add... Uh, I've had before, I had the free one in there, the paid one, and also my item pack, and any other items I've found on YouTube or Twitter as well. Anyway, guys, hopefully this helped you out. If it did, please leave a like. Thanks for watching this, and I'll see you guys later.